Hey adventurers, how y'all doing? This week has been a lot of cup of teas kind of a week. Aaron, I think in the last two, maybe three weeks, has given me one night of sleep. And last night we actually managed two four hour blocks, which is absolutely epic. So one of those blocks I got about three hours of sleep. Unfortunately, in the other block, I had to deal with Lucy instead. So from about two o'clock onwards, I reckon I got maybe a half an hour of sleep. So I think, I think my tea is well deserved. I have literally come in here to hide from my children just for a few minutes. Um, don't worry, I did call a friend first. She's come down and just taken them for a bit. So we still don't know if it's Wonder Weeks or Teeth or if there's something else going on, but Aaron just needs to be held 24 hours a day. And even when you are holding him, we'll still quite often cry and, and yark his head off. So this week is going to be a little bit shorter with all that in mind and the main thing I'm going to focus on is the research I did this week and can I highly recommend you do this research as well. I got to pop into the art gallery this week. Now I had beautiful plans of sitting outside and talking to you all there um, but I have a three month old and he doesn't follow my plans very well. But you know what? the staff there were so lovely and you know while I was waiting for my friend to meet me they're like oh hey just leave the pram here with us we'll look after him do you want to leave him with us he's so cute several of the curators who were, were doing tours were like oh what a wonderful time good on you getting him started so early he can't help but get cultured now can he uh, so it was it was really lovely from that point of view the art gallery is nothing like I remember. I remember as a, I'm pretty sure the last time I went, I was a young child and being bored out of my brains. Um, but this, it was just all set up so beautifully and invitingly. And they actually really encouraged the kids coming through. So I went specifically for the Colours of Impressionism exhibition that's showing at the moment. Hurry up, it's only on until the end of July, so you don't have much longer to get in there and it is totally worth it. So beautiful and they've got 28 different artists displayed through a series of rooms and what they do is they kind of take you through a couple of centuries worth of Impressionism art. But instead of going, oh yeah, well this happened this year and then this happened this year, they've grouped it into colours, so colours of Impressionism. So it starts out with the darker ones, so you know this is where the black paint was used more and then uh, into the next room is white and, and so it sort of moves through their phases like that. And it was just so beautifully displayed and I discovered that I actually quite like Renoir. Uh, I've enjoyed his painting for ages, not realising that I was enjoying his painting. I took my friend Sharon and she said, isn't it funny how you can tell who the great artists are without reading their names because you're automatically drawn to them and there is something about this art that just draws you right in. So I do really encourage you to go and check it out. They were really accommodating of families, young people, old people. I think... The one thing I will say, try and pick a time that's not the middle of the day. It was really busy in there, which for some reason I wasn't expecting, but I'm really glad that it was. I'm glad there was a lot of interest. Um, but try and pick, probably either end of the day might be a little bit better or call them and ask what's the best time. So thank you to the art gallery for the tickets and for these beautiful images. So you don't have to put up with the shoddy workmanship of myself but don't take my word for it. Go in, check it out yourself, and I will catch you all next time.